So now, if you look at the VIX, there's a couple of your area that I've noticed lately that are very powerful. So I want to switch the VIX to a uh, weekly. And let's compress this VIX here. And I want to show you a couple of areas of interest for me. The number one area is 35. So we are going to put a line across the power target. A second line of interest is the 25, which is somewhere in one of the here, right there, major zones. So 25. So 35, 25. What I've noticed, guys, is each time we are in these ranges, 25, 35. This is good for day trading. Okay? This is good for making a little bit more aggressive trade, day trading or SPX, you know, um, credit spread. And that's very important because the VIX, you know, with the volume indicator, dictate the strategy. So if it's helpful, guys, your likes, comments are very important and, and appreciate it because the VIX 2535 dictate my strategy, day trading or SPX, aggressive credit spread, right? Because the implied volatility is high. Therefore, if the implied volatility is high, everybody, then I can sell options because the options are juice. So 25, 35 VIX are magic for day trading and for aggressive credit spread on the SPX or the uh, SPY. Okay. Now, when the VIX drop 25, 20 area, this is where things get more tricky. You have a drop of volatility like we might have here. And this is where you need to be more out of the money, out of the money, let's say a credit spread, a put credit spread and a um, cold credit spread, you are more neutral and your deltas are more neutral. So let's recap. 25, 35. This is more of a directional play on the VIX. And it's a more directional day trading or for me, SPX 10.Y credit spread. You know, that's what I am known for. When you are between 20 and 25, this is more out of the money delta neutral play, right? And guess what? When it goes 20 to 12, it's just your old assets. Your old assets, you know, you hold the assets, you know? And by the way, even at the 25, 35 or at the top, I buy assets. I buy asset when the market is fearful. I buy asset, right? And you buy you hold those asset till about this twelve seventeen, and that twelve seventeen. That's where you look at extreme low, extreme complacency, you know, no fear, and that's where you start being fearful and you start shorting the market by buying. For instance, I like to buy the VXS call long duration. So this is a frame to help you in the market, you know, regarding you, if you do cryptos, if you do the stock market to uh, uh, think about the VIX. And I think this is a very, very helpful frame. So if this is helpful, guys, your likes, comments are super appreciated.